since the pandemic outbreak, we can see that more than 1,400 measures like have been taken by the financial intermediaries in more than 140 countries. And when you go back to them, look at their economy, you can see that not a single of them were able to go back to wherever they started, they were they able to recover their economies. And this obviously raises a question whether the existing solutions, existing measures are the sustainable solutions in general. That's why in order to maintain the customer base, in order to maintain and meet the customer expectations in general, uh, the change is inevitable. However, I believe this time, when we say change, applying or twisting existing tools is, not, is no longer going to be help. Obviously, we need to consider factoring technology when we say change. Partial Bank is the leading financial institution of Azerbaijan and our main mission is to serve the real sector of uh, our country. For our customers, we would like to be devoted financial partner. So we would like to contribute their development and growth by providing high quality financial services and expertise, particularly tailored to their aspirations. I think everything what we did, what we are doing and continue to do at the country is to build the fundamentals because since our independence, we didn't have anything. So we built fundamentals to develop sustainable social market economy. And the um, idea before, and I believe idea further, will be to ensure sustainable economic growth and uh, high welfare of society. During COVID-19, we tried proactively to reach each of our top customers to understand their needs. At the same time, we have developed online platforms to enable small and medium enterprises to reach out the financing, the bank financing, flexibly. Considering the lockdown situation, that was really important. And our knowledge about our customers gave us big advantage in these terms because we were flexible enough and effective enough to adjust our borrower assessment, our credit risk assessment approach, and align it with the market realities to keep up their monthly operational expenses so they do not interrupt their business in longer term. It has also a lot of social aspects because the food security and health security was important. And as a big corporate bank of the country, we have a lot of corporates who are actually acting in these industries. And that was our main focus. In my opinion, generally, social economic responsibility is not and shouldn't be just a one-time project. This agenda must be integrated to every decision-making that you take every day. And this is the case for Prussia Bank Azerbaijan as well. We are committed, of course, uh, corporate citizens of our country. We committed to sustainable economic development and prosperity of our society. We're also directly or indirectly helping to uh, grow the economy, especially the real sector, non oil sector of Azerbaijan. But when we say grow a new valley, we only mean it by means of a new technology and through the digital channels. Actually, when we talk about digitalization, everybody thinks about technology, but uh, it starts not from technology, it starts from customers and value. So we should start digitalization in the areas when we maximize uh, the value for customer and value for organization. And when we find this pain point, we try to solve this pain point through the best possible user experience, and here's the place when technology and innovation comes in. Several years ago, we can talk about advantages of digitalization in competition, but uh, today is no longer additional value, it's necessity. And companies who want to survive, they should seriously think about their digitalization strategy. Pasha Bank started implementation of its digital strategy in 2018, and we were pioneers of digitalization in Azerbaijan. We bring a lot of new approaches and technologies for the first time, not only in our bank, but in the whole country. We as biggest corporate bank in the country, major contributor to the real sector, we set an aspiration to help to digitalize the economy, digitalize the GDP of Azerbaijan. To be a leader and to be a pioneer is a responsibility, and you understand the responsibility, and that's why we share the things we bring to our bank 
with the society. Agile methodology, DevOps, microservice architecture, cloud computing are the examples of the technologies and approaches we popularize in Azerbaijan. Our journey continues by popularizing data-driven decision-making through AI and ML. And we even more motivated when you see how uh, we impacted financial inclusion and building the cashless society in Azerbaijan through our digital products. Today, we process 99% of our operations, especially cash management operations, through digital channels. And once again, thanks to this aspiration, we see an increase in the number of customers, we see an increase in general turnovers, even in a pandemic environment. We have enormous expertise, which we believe as a, uh, as a part of our mission we should utilize uh, to support businesses, real sector, uh, in developing our economy. We would like to be a bridge between investors, business, state, because as financial institutions, I believe we have this ability, and this is why we're here.